WWF Raw. We watched WWF Raw season one, episode thirty eight, October. I changed the date. It was the first week of November. We November one, I think. So it was very sad. This is the first Raw after Tatanka's undefeated streak was ended. I was so looking forward to the video package with the ultra melodramatic Vince McMahon narration, and they didn't do one. They didn't even mention it for a while. I was so bummed. What we had was Bastion Booger eating mostly bread. He's carb loading today. He's stuffing food down his gullet, and of course, a lot of it's spilling down, is getting caught in his chest hair and everything. And Bobby Heenan shows up, and a, a Looney Tune skit breaks out. Bastion Booger, what are you doing? Don't you know you have a match coming up with Razor Ramon? And Bastion screams, I'm going to eat him up too. It's raw. And that was the opening of the show. It's also his uh, birthday. Bobby Heenan mentions about the show was his birthday. Yeah. And uh, this leads to a payoff, which we shall get to later. Tonight on Raw, Vince and Bobby now are ringside. We have, of course, Razor Ramon versus Bastion Booger in a non-title match. They should have clarify. The Smoking Guns versus Well Done. <laughs> Ian says, speaking of smoking, I think Bastion is smoking from both ends. And Vince McMahon is appalled at this crude humor. Virgil versus Adam Baum. And the former fanatics in a special interview. And then, yes, Brian. Razor Ramon versus Bastion Booger. You know what's funny is I watched this show and I was like, this is the most boring fucking raw show I ever saw in my life. But I could talk about this show for years. <laughs> years. <laughs> All right. Let's start with Bastion Booger against Razor Ramon. Do you know what I learned in this match? No, I can't think of one thing. This Bastion Booger was in horrible shape. Hmm. You just learned that? No, I knew I knew you were going to say something dumb, Vinny. So let me explain. There's there's being in shape and there's being in shape. Okay? We have watched Yokozuna. Right? Uh-huh. You wouldn't look at Yokozuna and say this man's in great shape. I suppose not. He's morbidly obese. But but while he got tired, He could work a full match, and he could move, and he could get up and down, okay? This Bastion Booger was in horrible cosmetic shape. When you looked at him, when you looked at him, all you could think was, this man looks horrible. Oh, my God. He could not do a fucking thing. Maybe it was all the bread. But I'm watching this match, and first off, the match is fucking an atrocity. It's so horrible. And we're like one minute into the match. And I'm fucking watching Bash and Booger. And he's like, <gasps> he's gasping, fucking gasping for air. And they roll outside the ring. And he throws Razor Ramon into the ring apron. And he ain't doing nothing. Razor's doing all the work. And Razor rolls into the ring. And Bastion has to get from the ground to the ring. It was a lot of work. And he f- he f- crawls his belly to the r- to the thing. He snurks his way under the ropes. He takes an hour to go from a prone position to a standing position. And I'm like, this guy's gonna die. And then he applies a bear hug. And he. You know what's funny about the bear hug? Is the bear hug in, in uh, you know, if we're pretending it's real, is you hug the guy so hard that he can't take a full breath. Right? You're trying to squeeze the air out of him, yes. Bastion Booger is hugging Razor and leaning on him. <laughs> and Razor Ramon is holding him up. And they cut to a couple of shots of Razor's face. And... <laughs> Bro, he, this guy is just like, he's so bored. And he's looking around. He ain't even selling. He's just like looking around like, fuck. This big fucking guy is just leaning on me. And I'm going to get fucking tired. And so he does a couple of punches. And then I think Bastion just goes like, cha-cha. He just does something. And then he puts on that fucking hug again. I cannot tear my eyes away from this match. 
I can't. I couldn't keep my eyes on it. This guy couldn't do anything. He couldn't even stand unassisted. So I'm watching this and I'm like, I've never seen anything like this. How is he still getting booked? And I asked that question many times in the show. And then, you know, Razor makes a quick comeback. And all Bastion does is just stand there. He stands there. And Razor's like, why? He's firing up. And Bastion's like, ugh. Ugh. Just standing there. And then finally Razor bends him over and sets him up for the edge. <laughs> I'm like, this fucker ain't going up for the edge, brother. No. And so he's standing there. And he's waiting for Bastion to backdrop him out. And he's waiting. And he's waiting. And he lets go of whatever he's got for his fake hug for the and he slaps him on the back like, motherfucker, come on. And at that point, I'm like, just jump over the fucking guy. Like, who gives a fuck? Just jump over him and go to go home. But no, Bastion is finally able to just kind of stand up and Razor flies over him. And then Bastion stands there. And he just falls to his knees for the bat cave. They sit down splash. They call it the, the bat cave. They do, yes. Because yeah. his butthole is a cave. <laughs> the fuck? So anyway, he sits on this fucking guy. The ref counts one, two. Razor's desperately trying to reverse this guy so fat. He can't just roll back. So the ref has to stop counting. Racer pulls his fucker over, pins him. I'm like, holy fucking shit. Holy fuck that match. And then, and then, I don't want to hear about crowd sweetening. I know they sweeten the crowd and everything like that. But this was not crowd sweetening. Razor Ramon pins Bastion Booger after the worst, most nothing happening negative star match you ever saw in your fucking life. And these fans go fucking crazy. And there's a guy, there's an old guy. I've never seen someone clap harder. He's like, <laughs> right in the camera. And the funny thing is, there's another old guy next to him. And the old guy next to him is like, he can't even believe what he just saw, like, that match. But the guy next to him is so excited. And then there's, like, another guy in the front row that's like, hey, he's holding up the big thumbs. He's so fuck. These people are jumping up and down. The ladies are going like this. They're all so happy. I'm like, what the fuck has happened to this business? What's happened? Like, I mean, they were so happy. How did they not see what this was? He, I just... Everybody, I'm begging you. I am begging you. Raw 38, Bastion Booger versus Razor Ramon. You have to go back and watch this match. Like, forget uh, Will Ospreay and David Finley. Like, I'm sure it was great. Every Will Ospreay match is great. There's going to be another great Will Ospreay match. You have to, have to go back. And no, Brandon, they were not happy it was over. Watch this crowd. They were overjoyed that Razor Ramon had somehow beaten this man in this contest. I, I, I just, I was done. And then there was like another 45 minutes. Fuck. Am I the only one? You have to go back and rewatch this. No, no, no. I, I, I agree with everything you've said. I really can't any, add any more analysis to the body of the match. You, you've, you've covered, I think, every single thing they did, which wasn't much. Uh, Booger comes out, and he's walking down the aisle being Bastion Booger. Vince loves the word girth. I don't know if you noticed that. There's a lot of words he likes. But when he says, Take a look at the girth of Bastion Booger. And then if that's not enough, in case you're confused as to what he means, <laughs> take a look at the adipose tissue on that man. I laughed. So here's everything. Here is everything that happens after the bell rings and before they go to break. The bell rings. Razor looks at Booger, waves his hand in front of his nose because Booger stinks, makes fun of his floppy boobs. Crowd really liked that part. They did a lockup. They did a clean break. They went to commercial. 
Oh, I can't wait to come back for more of this match. God. So. And this is a like a taped show, I'm pretty sure. So it's not oh, like yeah. they did anything during the break. Oh, no. He got blown up from a lockup. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you noted, the first bear hug goes an hour or two. The second bear hug may have been longer. I'm I'm furiously ranting about how boring all this is, and then I just erased it because Vince summed it up better than I could. Vince McMahon, <laughs> color commentator and promoter of the show, tells you, the viewer, quote, Bastion Booger with Razor Ramon in what has thus far been a rather lethargic matchup. It was. This match was lethargic. Oh, no doubting. Was it ever. Razor wins with a double leg Nelson. A miserable match. <laughs> a double leg Nelson. That's what we called it on a uh, frame page. Or, uh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. This was not a sunset flip. This was a double leg Nelson. I was thinking if I had a pelt like Bastion Booger here, I would try to shave it in the form of an argyle pattern. <laughs> also, looking at both of these men, I know that Brian would um, refuse to lock up with either of them because they were hairy. This was not a good match. Well, at least Razor didn't smear himself with oil all over his hair. That's very true. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler, and then go into images, and then go into GIFs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to, that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.